Hello everyone, this is Shishi and today I'm coming on to do a tutorial by request Bitty Blossoms. Now there are some uh, tutorials on YouTube uh, covering these size flowers but I was asked to come on and share with you how I make them so that's what I'm going to do. Now I was asked to make some flowers like this. I will cover that in another tutorial. Um, the ones I'm sharing today look like this. There are three colors and you make them with three flowers. You'll need a punch like this or a flower with five petals. This is by EK Success. I do have a punch like this. I got it at Tuesday morning a couple years ago and it makes all kinds of flowers. You can make wreaths with this. There's all kinds of ideas I have for these bitty blossoms. I use a lot of scrap paper to make them but I like to send them in friend mail. Um, I also use these dies right here. I got them off of eBay. I bought they come in a set of three. I bought two sets because I cut out so many that I just want to cut out as many as I can to make these leaves. And they make leaves that look like this. They come out like this and I just color them in this color green cardstock and then I take a marker and I color the leaves a different green to give it that look. And then um, sometimes I'll do flowers that that will leave the whole leaf pattern. And then sometimes I'll just snip off tiny leaves to give my flowers this kind of pattern. You know, with the two leaves sticking out. Then I'll show you how I do the stamens. The stamens look like this. It's really hard to find a punch that will do a stamen this small. So what I did was I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought this snowflake punch like this and I punched out my snowflakes and then I just take a pair of scissors and normally I'll just layer them all together so I get about three bunched together like so. So I'll just layer them all together and then I'll just snip off the tips. I'm going to show you. I'm going to move all these flowers to the side so that I can demo how I do the stamens because this is what we'll need to make the flower. The first flower that is. Okay. This is how you save some time. Okay, this is what I do. I just snip off right about here, right here, this little top part, like that. Okay, and just go around and snip off all the little tops until you get that stamen look. Just like that. Okay, then once you're done, they'll all look like this. Okay, so I have a bunch of them done. I'm only going to demo one flower in this size, like this. Okay, and you'll need a mouse mat or a foam pad, like so. I have two flowers already punched out and then I just use my stylus so I'm going to zoom in and then I just take my tool and just do some embossing of the flower on each petal like this this is the first flower that I'm making I turn them over then I will give them an embossing in the middle 
take some glue offset each one they're they're very simple and glue just a little bit of glue right here in the center offset the flowers like this very very simple flower these make cute little filler flowers like if you're making a wreath and I'll show you an example of what I do okay so this is how it looks so far alright then I'm going to take one of my stamens that looks like this I'm going to give it a slight embossing alright I'm going to put some glue in the center like that take the stamen put it right in there very very easy I mean I know a lot of people will just rather go to the store and you just let that dry just a little bit and buy the 50 cents or I don't know maybe they cost I bought a dollar for a pack of, I don't know, 20 or so flowers at Michael's or Joann's or whatever and buy the flower like that. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. Here I have this leaf. I'm going to cut off just the two right here with a pair of scissors like this. Okay. So I have these two leaves that I'm just going to emboss right here and right here like that. And it's going to give me some dimension. Then I'm going to take my glue just like that and glue just a little bit right here and then we're going to take this flower and set it right on here all right just like that so far then I have I'm going to zoom out just a little bit this perler pin by Viva I got it at Joann's it was a really good price then I'm just going to put a little bit of a drop to I rather do this than fool with um, flat back pearls because flat back pearls they just uh, they're just hard to deal with so I just do a little drop like that and then you just set it aside and let it dry it takes oh about maybe half an hour or hour and just let that dry so I'm going to zoom out more okay and then once you're done your flower will look like this okay so that's how you do the first one very very easy very simple okay so that's how you do the bitty blossoms that's what I'm calling them and again, these are the dies I use, and I got them off eBay. I'll link a seller if you're interested in using these little tiny leaves. That's how I make them. Okay, next up, I'm going to show you how to make these. There are three flowers, and I do them in multicolors. So that's how these work. Um, I use this little quick stick because I'm going to put a rhinestone in the middle it's the same formula I do three different colors so I start off with this color right here like that then I do a lighter color and then I do a dark color for the top layer so again very easy I'm gonna zoom in 
Same thing, we're not using any leaves for this one. Do your embossing on all the petals. We're going to do a deep, deep, deep embossing like that. Flip it over. Do the embossing in the middle, like so. I believe this one has some embossing, so I'll skip that one. Then the last one, we'll do some really deep embossing. And flip that one over and do really, really deep embossing like so. Now is the fun part. We will take this one, the middle one, and start gluing onto the bottom layer. You will offset this one onto this one. And then it gets tricky when you do the top layer because you have to try to offset that one even the slightest bit like that okay then we need to do the top layer which I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here okay and then you're going to kind of get another slight offset so it shows up all three colors. You see all three? And then press it down like that. And then we're going to take our embossing tool and press really, really hard so it'll cup up. And now this is what we have. So you can see all three colors. And now we're going to put a stone in the middle. So I'm going to put some glue right in the middle. Now I'm going to use my quick stick. Hopefully this will get the stone good. And put the stone in the middle. All right, here it is. Just drop that down and let the glue dry. Okay? And then once it's dry, it will look like this with all the different colors. Okay? So that's how you make this one. So once you're done with the bitty blossoms, Here is an idea of a card, I'm going to zoom out, that I made with the wreath. And you can do some, you know, fillers with those flowers. So it's a Mother's Day card that I plan to send, I don't know to who yet, because my mother's deceased, but I still have a grandmother and mother-in-law and, you know, sister-in-law and different people in my life who I can send Mother's Day cards to. But this is uh, just an idea of what you can use those small flowers for on cards and tags and other projects. So I hope this is helpful to the person who asked me to make these tiny, tiny flowers. And um, again, I will come back and make these little tiny ones without any hot glue. I'll show you guys how to make them. Again, there's tutorials on YouTube, but I was asked to make these, so I will come back and make them um, in the next coming weeks, okay? So I hope this was helpful. Take care and have a fabulous day.